Now to a story out of Kansas that is one you don't hear about every day. A modern day treasure hunter was searching for something out of this world, literally, when he came across a 1,400 pound meteorite. Steve Arnold is a meteorite dealer and he joins us this morning from Haviland, Kansas, the site of his buried treasure. Steve Arnold, good morning to you. Good morning. So let's start with a little factoid. A lot of people may not know. There are more meteorites apparently in Kansas where you are than any other place in the world. And you had done your homework and pinpointed this farm where you thought you might find something big and you had the farmer in on it with you, helping you out. So you go out there with your metal detector and tell us what happens. Are bells and whistles going off? Well, yeah, we got, got a really good strong signal and uh, scratched around on the surface to make sure that it wasn't just an old wrench or a broken plow and, and nothing turned up for the first few inches. And so we uh, got the backhoe out and started to digging and uh, didn't find anything and ran the detector over it again. The signal was still there, dug some more, still nothing, dug some more. Finally, uh, fi finally got the shovel out and started uh, manually digging and, and uh, clink, the, the shovel hit the top of the meteorite and we knew we had something. Well, you know, you do this for a living, um, which I think is a pretty unusual job. You hunt for these things, you sell them, you broker meteorites, and I'm just looking at this thing. Have you ever found anything like it before? I mean, this big, this unusual? Uh, per personally, I've only I've only dug out uh, a, a two pound one before, so this is this was this was big. So when did you realize that you had something pretty extraordinary here? Yeah, well, well, the signal was strong, and and when I got down to it, the the I I, I found that that it was about two feet wide. Then I found out that it was about three feet wide, and uh, and it just got more exciting. So w tell us about your plans. I mean, I, I know that you want to try to sell it. Is there a big market for meteorites? Well, I, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but yes, th th there is a pretty good sized market and it is growing. And so there's collectors as well as museums are interested in meteorites. Well, I would imagine a museum would be really great so that, you know, it, it's open to the public and people can come check it out because it's, it's right. so unusual. I mean, we're just looking at these pictures. It really is pretty extraordinary. It is, and it's a beautiful shape, and, and it's what a meteorite ought to look like, and, and uh, the largest palisite found in, in America. Okay, real quick, because we're out of time, but what do you think that thing is worth? What are you going to get for it? Uh, you know, nothing like this has ever been found before, and so it's like, what's the Hope Diamond worth? We really don't know. Um, it's, it's going to be in the seven figures, though. Wow. All right. Steve Arnold, you may have hit the jackpot here. Thanks very much. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. And we'll be right back.